A new exhibit at the Whitty Museum explores animals and plants as machines built for survival. Our David Sears joins us live again from the Whitty. So David, can you show us around now? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna show you some stuff and we're gonna also participate in an activity in just a second. It's the biomechanics display here at the Whitty Museum. And with me now is Sarah Rowley. She's the STEM Education Manager, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. You so got it. What this display does is break down the science, technology, and engineering of animals. And even the math, yes. So the machine inside biomechanics is all about the physics and material science and technology relating to plant and animal bodies. And what's great is when you come and explore this exhibit, you really get to start seeing the world with another layer of understanding. And it's really quite beautiful because you get to see the physics of how our bodies work. And there's some great bits about biomimicry where we can show how humans are learning from the natural world around us. And that includes with flight. So we have here our wing chair, which is super fun. So what, what you're gonna do is you're gonna try flapping a wing and we can compare the different wing shapes of different birds. Okay, so this is the big wing, right? Yeah, that's a long and skinny wing. So you can think about birds with long, skinny wings. They don't tend to flap a lot. They tend to soar. Is that one easy or hard to flap? All right. Now, try not to get too dizzy. Don't want to get too dizzy. So then you have the short wing. Now, what, what, uh, what kind of biomechanics are we going to have to do with this thing? So with the shorter wing, it's not going to soar as well, so it's going to flap more. So birds that need more control over where they're going, they're going to use that, and they tend to flutter more. And with the short wing, it also helps a little bit if well, you get a little bit of an angle on Whoa. it. You think about how bird wings move. Whoa. Uh -oh. So uh, <laughs> how, do you, how do you stop this thing? I would recommend putting a foot down to <laughs> yeah. get some friction you okay, there. David? <laughs> and for our friends at home, you should know that we do have hand sanitizer right next to this station, as well as staff who are sanitizing this frequently. Hold on. So we want people to feel safe <laughs> using this. Okay. It usually gets that so feeling of the fourth quarter of a Spurs game. Take a moment to catch your, <laughs> catch your balance after. <laughs> Don't go too far. <laughs> you OK, bud? A little, uh, hey, you know those birds fly fast. Yes. But they don't fly in circles. They no, fly, fly, but you were moving pretty fast. Well, well that's the benefit well of well having a second wing. A good the, exercise the in biomechanics. I before I got on that ride. What's that? I said the good news is I didn't eat before I got on that ride. Oh, that is, goodness, That is yeah. good, yeah. yeah. He Getting the hand sanitizer. He could have had a regenerative farming burger. <laughs> No. So anyway, what a great place, huh? A lot yes. of stuff like that going on. A lot of hands-on stuff for all the kids. So the Woody Museum's got it going on this week. Spring break. Perfect time to visit. All right. Thank you, David. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank Hold on. Here at the Woody. <laughs>